Hello and welcome to Women Speakers Association, Women Speakers Association, and WSA TV, where women we bring you women of influence and impact and inspiring global transformation. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Rubenstein, your host and producer of WSA TV. And today we have some incredible speakers to you. I am normally a business consultant and social media mentor with Transform Today. And I love bringing amazing women out into the world and highlighting them for you. And let's go say hi to the wonderful women we have here with us today. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Laura. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Patricia Lambert and I am the producer and consultant with RedShoeSavvy.com. I am based in Vancouver, British Columbia, love to live and work here. And what I love about WSA is the, the value that it has to connect women and support women as they develop in their speaking careers. Lovely. So glad you're here, Patricia. Hi, Jamila. It's a delight to be with you. Thank you for having me, Laura. I'm Jamila Bay, and I am joining you from Washington, D.C. And uh, this is the place where I live and work. I am a journalist. My website is S-P-A-R, spar with Jamila.com. And that stands for the sex, politics, and religion, and sometimes race. All of the issues that I like to write, report, and speak about. The Women's Speakers Association is so wonderful because every time I attend an event, I learn so much and I find new friends that I can't wait to connect and work with. Yeah, th that is one of the biggest benefits of Women's Speakers Association. So let's say hi to another wonderful woman here at WSA, Diane. Hi, Laura. Thanks so much for having me today. So I'm Diane Leonard, GPC. I'm the president and owner of DH Leonard Consulting and Grant Writing Services. We're based in Clayton, New York, which is a small rural community in the Thousand Islands on the St. Lawrence River. And one of the things that I love the most about WSA is the ability to connect with women doing powerful things speaking about powerful topics that they are really passionate about throughout the country, being based in a rural community, having that community, that professional association to connect with, network, and to inspire me is a really important benefit for me. Yeah, it truly is connecting women around the globe together, and we're so grateful um, that you viewers are here and I am truly grateful that we have such a powerhouse of women uh, to interview today so I want to jump right in and talk about what really lights you up and what impact you're dedicated to making in the world. Um, Patricia why don't you go first. Thank you Laura. What lights me up is having conversations that are relevant to with other women and for other women. So the videos that we produce are intended to share know-how, share experiences and they're for other people to freely use and learn from and inspiring people to move beyond where they started out in life, where they started out in the day mm -hmm. is what turns me absolutely lights up. <laughs> you light up by lighting other people up. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> great. Beautiful. And, and Jamila, tell us what you're up to in the world and what impact you're making. So one of the things that is heartbreaking to me is that 51% of the women uh, in, in, who listen to English language podcasts, 51% of people who download are women. But only about 13% of podcasters uh, are women themselves. Mm -hmm. And when we look at editorial pages and we realize that fewer than 20% of most editorials are written by women, most op-eds are written by men, I just go, there's so much to be said, there's so much to learn, and so few women are doing it. So what I am compelled to do is number one, I raise my voice. I, I'm, I'm pretty loud and I'm pretty out there and, and I speak for those who can't speak. But I also want to help other people who don't have a voice, who, who go, oh well, yes, I happen to be an expert, but I don't know if I'm the right person to go on that show or write that opinion piece. And I do everything in my power to say, yes, you are, stand up with me, sister. Raise your voice, use your pen, Let's get out there and let's have our voices heard. Women are changing the world. Look around us. Let's take our power. And so that's what inspires me and that is what I'm up to of late. 
Amen. Glad you're here and helping women bring their voices out in the world. I think we have a power team here. And Diane, tell us what uh, you're up to and how you're making an impact. Sure. So the impact that we work to create and that I'm personally working towards is to create support for nonprofits and grant seeking organizations. So to help them secure the resources they need to create the impact and achieve their missions. So that means so much in terms of capacity work um, and what we're doing, but it, it really it's a wide range. Grant seeking encompasses so many powerful groups doing amazing things in small communities, large cities, big collaborations. And so it's that connecting the dots, securing the resources, helping them to achieve their mission. That's the impact that gets me fired up every single day. Wow. Like I said, power team here. Can you see the synergies? Mm -hmm. Bringing your voice out, bringing you out on camera, bringing your funding your business, your nonprofit. It's um, pretty incredible all the, the resources we have here right today, right? So I want you all to just imagine for a moment stepping into the living room with us. If you, have, if you don't already feel connected and to like wanting more from each of the women here today, um, imagine yourself just sitting with us because now we're going to get into a little bit deeper conversation with each of you. I want to hear from each of you, and our, I'm sure our viewers do too, a piece of advice. So how can we bring ourselves out there in the world more, or what would you advise we do? Patricia, let's go to you first. I believe that none of us succeed alone. We don't live on an island. We are not by ourselves. And that goes to um, what we've been talking about with regard to, uh, to recognizing that we have a voice. So not only do we not succeed alone, but if we don't share with other people the things that we know, we are so diminishing our joint capacity to be relevant and make a difference as we move forward in our business lives and our personal lives and on a global scale. Nice. I'm guessing, Jamila, you agree with that. What advice do you have? Patricia is taking the words right out of my mouth. I mean, I wanted to do the John Don quote, no man is an island. <laughs> Super to you, Patricia. But, you know, moving just a little bit forward with that, so often, um, particularly our younger people, and I'm talking little kids, our, our first grade, second grade, third grade girls, our middle schoolers and high schoolers, nobody says to them, yes, young sister, you have a voice and what you have to say matters. What you think matters. Yes, yes, you're very cute, but you know what? You are super smart, and what you think about things needs to be put forth. You can take part in the conversations because you belong here, and this is your planet as well. So, you know, from the littlest to the biggest and everybody in between, everything we can do uh, as individuals to really encourage and inspire other people to march forward and, and make this planet better than when they got here. That makes it better for us all. Indeed, and starting young and empowering women, young girls, at oh, such a beautiful piece of wisdom. I love it. And thank you. And Diane, tell us some, some advice for the nonprofit world. Oh, we're, you're on mute. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I look at I'm listening to Patricia and Jamila and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so inspired just sitting here. And I think for me, um, thinking about your winding path and understanding that everyone has a different story for how they get to where they are and what it boils down to is following your passion, I think, is you try to create impact regardless of your field. To me, that's one of the biggest pieces of advice a mentor gave me um, when I first started in philanthropy. And to find mantras that kind of help you embrace your creativity, your passion, um, to use each of those steps along the winding path and use that to create your impact and to think of your future as a, your motivation. Yes. Yes. Such wisdom. I want to bring in one additional element, which I think all of you might just agree with, which is as we bring forward our voices, that we remember we do that with the intention not to harm anybody else, but to make a positive impact on the world. Yes? Yes. 
And um, so here at Women Speakers Association, we really do support women in making that positive impact without harming anyone else on the planet. And if you'd like to be a part of it, we welcome you. Just go to joinwsa.com and you can have a free membership and connect with these empowering women. And we would love to have your empowering energy with us as well. Again, that's joinwsa.com. So we will see you for another episode of WSA TV. Let's all say goodbye to everyone as we um, head off to uh, our, live our missions. Bye for now. You can say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> goodbye, all. All right. It's going to be a great, um, a great day. Thank you for being with us. Pleasure. <laughs>